Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about the, what the best kind of soil is for growing dragon fruit, right? So we're going to do a little experiment. So right here I have natural native dirt that I just got from my front yard, right? That I try to break up as much as possible. Here we have what, what I think is a good potting soil that I like to buy. Right here, a good cactus mix. And then here, we have the same cactus mix, but in a mixture of about 30% perlite, right? So three parts cactus mix to one part perlite, which is a, uh, actually I think that's 25% perlite, but you get the picture. So here I have a two gallon full of water and we're gonna water each and see what happens, right? So first let's go ahead and get the, the native dirt. So these are straight up out of the bag, you know? out of the ground no water i've done nothing to them but put them in the cup okay so here's the water i'm gonna water about that much all right so you see what's happening here the water's sitting on top right the water's sitting on top and it's taking quite a while actually to go ahead and go through it's barely starting to absorb and fall through these have holes on the bottom by the way for for uh for the water to go through They're all the same all the same number of holes right so there it's absorbed i'm gonna go ahead and give it another batch and the same thing happened you see usually sometimes the water does sit on top for even good soils you know because soil is actually hydrophobic it repels water so it needs a little bit of water to get the water going you know but look it's just sitting on top you don't want to put your dragon fruit in something like that you know Standing water is very, very bad for roots, okay? Imagine you have an open cut, right? An open cut on your finger, and your finger being the root, you know? Imagine sticking your finger slash your roots in there, you know? That's a prime place for bacteria and fungus and algae and other stuff to grow, you know? This is what supports algae, standing water, muddy dirt, you know? So here we have the potting soil. We're going to do the same thing. Just add water, all right? Probably about that much. Boom, gone. You see that? This is well draining soil. I'll do it again. And this is kind of a lot of water for this little cup, you know. And there you go. It's going down. And gone. You see that? This is a good, I think, cactus soil mix, you know. Well draining soil. This is what you want for your dragon fruit. Something that doesn't hold water for a long amount of time, like this. This is almost mud. This is soil, you see? And then here's this potting soil with perlite. And gone, just like that, you see? I put a lot of water that time. Way more water than, than your dragon fruit will probably ever see. You see? And gone. Alright? So this is no good. This is what you do not want for your dragon fruit. That will encourage rot and growth and bacteria. And will probably kill your plant if you water it enough times. You see? it's not That water is not going anywhere. That water is good for forming a river base or something. But this is what you want for your cactus, right? So... What's the difference between adding perlite and not perlite, right? They both do the same thing. Well, the important thing about that is airflow. Airflow and compaction, right? Because if you keep using this, you know, eventually the natural, the natural part of the soils will break down and decompose. And you're just left with the inorganic matter. And the inorganic matter, you know, is going to compact and it's going to prevent air from getting to your roots and getting to your plant, right? Your plant doesn't need oxygen, doesn't you really need air. But what it does, what does need oxygen air is a symbiotic fungus and bacteria that grows on your roots that actually helps your plant absorb and uptake nutrients, you know? Without the, those organisms helping out your plant, your plant's not gonna get much. It's gonna grow slow and it might even, you know, stop growing altogether because it can't take up anything. This perlite, is gonna stop compaction, you know? It keeps it really, really loose and airy, 
you see this is more dense this is really airy and this is going to let in air all day long you know so airflow is good and that's why you want to add perlite you know mud is bad that still has water in it this is good this is what you want to plant your soil in you know and you can go ahead and buy a good soil blend like uh, fox farms or you know this is actually you know i'm embarrassed to admit it but <laughs> this is actually kellogg's cactus plant soil you know but some people think it's low quality but i actually think it's pretty good you know as long as you amend it with fertilizer i think it'll do the job um some people say that compacted source forest products that come in these is bad that eventually it'll encourage rust and fungal growth but i haven't really seen that so i recommend it maybe i'm wrong maybe they're right but i that's what i've seen so far and uh if you want a good soil blend on your own i've seen people list perlite vermiculite you know uh construction sand fags sphagnum moss coconut coir all these loose and airy materials that'll go together you know to form a good soil so that's what you should just put your dragon fruit cactus in so it can grow big and last you many many years hope you guys like the video and comment if you have any questions see ya hey guys i actually wanted to add one more part to this video and i wanted to show you what the dirt and soil actually looks like once it's out and about you know so here's the perlite and potting soil and then here is the just the native soil both full of water and i'll show you what each looks like once they're dumped out right so here's the perlite you know that soil it's wet but you can tell that that soil right and then here is the dirt the native dirt this is mud this is a mud cake look at that big difference this will kill your plants and this is good for your plants you see <laughs> you don't want to step in this all right see you guys